Hey guys, welcome back. This looks like an interesting question and we have i the root of i and we have to figure the value of this. So first of all, we know when we have the nth root of a to the power of b, this will be equal to a to the power of b over n. So here we know under this square root, we have i to the power of 1. So basically this can be written as i to the power of 1 over i. So here we're going to multiply the numerator and denominator by i. So basically we will get i over minus i squared and we know that i squared is equal to minus one so here we're going to get i to the power of i over minus one or simply i to the power of minus one so we know when we have a to the power of minus one this will be equal to one over a so i to the minus i can be written as one over i to the power of i so from euler's identity we know that e to the power of i i plus 1 is equal to 0 or basically if you bring 1 to the right side e to the power of i pi is equal to minus 1 so we know e to the power of i pi is equal to minus 1 which we know is what we have for i squared so this can be written as i squared and here we're going to do the power of 1 half on each side so basically we have e to the power of i pi all to the power of 1 half is equal to i squared all to the power of 1 half and here we know when we have a to the power of m to the power of n this will be a to the power of m times n so basically we can multiply each of these two on the left side we have e to the power of i pi divided by 2 and on the right side we have i to the power of 2 over 2 or i and in order to build what we have in the previous step i to the power of i we're going to do the power of i on each side here so we basically have e to the power of i pi over 2 all to the power of i is equal equal to i to the power of i we have the same story on the left side e to the power of i squared times pi over 2 and on the right side we have i to the i i squared is minus 1 so minus pi over 2 is equal to i to the power of i and we know the left side can be written as 1 over e to the power of pi over 2 and we're going to keep the right side as it is and we're going to do a cross multiplying here so 1 over i to the power of i can be written as e to the power of pi over 2 over 1 and we're going to get the same thing this is basically what we ended up in the previous step and the final answer would be e to the power of pi over 2 hope you guys find it helpful let me know if you have another approach to solve this you guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.